Fellow indie hackers who have millions of side projects with none bringing any revenue. It's your boy Michael and in today's video, the title explains it. I'm looking to build a startup. Now, I want to preface by saying this that um, I'm building this because I want to use this for my church's website. So fun fact, I built the website for my church and you can do one time donations using Stripe. And I was thinking of adding more features to it where you can do one time donations, but you can also do like a monthly fixed donation. Like, let's say you want to donate $100 a month and I wanted to be able to build that functionality. But I was looking at the code and when I built this site, I was kind of a noob and now I'm kind of a G. So I'm just joking. I'm not a G, not yet, uh, but I've learned a lot since then. And I wanted to rebuild this in a way where I can also extend this service to other churches or other businesses or people who want to use it. So this is my idea. It's a payment system. It's going to be using Stripe. And there's going to be two main things. There's going to be a multi-tenant site and then there's going to be an admin site. Right. So you can imagine X, Y, Z underscore church dot exodus dot com. I just random URL. And on this multi tenant site, um, it will be a landing page where, you know, um, the church can set up, um, you know, their own custom templates, whatever, whatever. And it's going to have the ability to uh, make donations, uh, manage your donations, manage your payments, download your re receipts. So people who would be donating to your church would come on this site. Right. And the way that this is going to work is I'm going to be using Stripe. Stripe has all the features I need to set this up. But in terms of a back end, I want to use Hono. Now, for my uh, for my pre for the previous site, for the current site, I'm using Next.js for both the front end and the back end. But this time I want to use Hono. And I've been having a lot of fun with Hono, Neon, Drizzle and Cloudflare workers. Uh, recently, if you guys remember my pray for me uh, side project which is basically a website where you can enter prayer request. Um, and if people prayed for it, they can hit tap and then it will, um, you know, people will know that you've prayed for and then there's an encouragement where you can read this first. Um, pretty cool, pretty awesome, right? So I rebuilt the entire backend using Hono. And I also have a Hono uh, template. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Basically Hono plus Cloudflare workers plus Neon Postgres very easy to set up, uh, very nice, check it out. But I want to use Hono for the server. And the way I want to use it is it's going to have the web hooks, it's going to have all the API calls that you need to make, right? For example, let's say someone comes on the site, and they make a payment to Stripe, I need to have a web hook that Stripe can hit. And then that information, that payment information will get stored into the database and the server can then read information from the database, right? So the Hono server is going to be in charge of storing all the information, reading, writing to the database, um, and then, you know, giving access to the front end to, to read and write as well. And the admin site is going to be for the church or for whoever is using it. And this is going to give them uh, the ability to create a one time payment with a dynamic number, meaning that people can enter how much they want to make a donation to one time, create a monthly recurring payment. I want to do um, give the ability for users to do a fixed and dynamic one, uh, the ability to track visitors. So like, let's say people come on your donations page, track where they're from, you know, how many people have, have visited, you know, your, your standard analytics page. Uh, payments and all that stuff. And obviously the ability to collect emails. And maybe I might even integrate uh, my boy Levi's uh, email service, which is double zero. If you haven't checked it out, uh, he's going to integrate it with uh, the starter kit very, very soon. And there's a free open source version, but there's also a one time payment version where you get a lot of cool features. So might be integrating that as well. But in a nutshell, I want to build this out in a way that not only the, cause can my church website use this, but I can also provide this as a service. So it's a win-win in a sense where let's say this doesn't take off and the only person that uses my church, that's completely fine because I was building it for my church anyway. But if, does the, if this does have a user base and I can make some coins off it, why not? So I'm gonna be using Hono for the backend. I'm gonna be using Drizzle and Neon Postgres uh, for the database, I've already maxed out all my super base instances and I don't want to pay and I'm going to use neon and neon Postgres is fantastic. Um, and they have a generous free tier. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I have a template that I have built that you can check out 
The link is in the description down below. But let me know what you think. What do you think of my startup idea? Does it make sense? Should I build it? I would like to keep you guys updated, uh, building these things live, showing you, okay, I just built the API, I just built this, I just built that. I think it'd be a great fun experience to finally build in public and document it. So let me know what you think. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.